Cut no gang, cut no gang, man. Look, today we gotta talk about man the funeral cuts. Yeah, in our industry, that's what we do. Uh, look, eh? Oh, well, I need a cut, nah. <laughs> I'm about to get you together. So, you're a licensed barber. This is it. This is your career. This is what you do. And one of the things you're going to have to encounter with is cutting at the funeral. You're going to have your clients, some of your clients is going to pass away again. On that big day, you got to get them together because you're the barber. And you've been cutting them their whole life. And I just want to share how it feels, you know what I mean? And like I cut one of my clients at the funeral, at his funeral. He was he's around my age, so it kind of feel love, you know. And I also cut some of my clients who was like my, you know what I mean, a lot older than me as well. So, and it's a touchy subject. A lot of barbers don't really talk about it, but you know. I'm gonna tell y'all my experience and it's real spiritual, you feel me? It's like, man, it's like his, the body is there, but his soul is, it, it, it's, it's crazy cutting up, gang. Um, as far as the look, you know it's them and it's their body because you've been cutting them for a while, but it's like, you know, they, they take all your organs out and they take all your body. So it's like, oh man. And, 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 it, and it really makes you think about everything. You know what I mean? Like, like, dang, this, like one of the thoughts to probably come across your mind is like, dang, this is my last time seeing my dog. But it's an honor to cut him on that big day. You know what I mean? You know, so. So you definitely gonna go through that, how it feels. Like, um, our bodies are like 98 degrees, you know, when we take our temperature. Now, like when you cutting at the funeral, the body is like real cold because they kind of got to preserve the body. So the body is like, it don't feel like how I feel when you shake somebody's hand, you know what I'm saying? Cutting up gang. It feel like real, like plastic-like and cold hard as well it's not like a squishiness like how we got blood flow because all the blood is drained out cutting up game and um yeah it's a, it's a different it's, it's it's a different experience for sure um the hair like you could still brush and comb the beard and the hair it's still the same hair it's just like it's no more feeling it's just the soul is just and if you really connected to them, you could kind of like feel it, you know what I mean? And communicate on that level. It's kind of weird, but real barbers know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Cutting up game. And we all should talk about it because that's something in our industry that we all got to do. Because like, if you got that many clients, of course, I'm going to move on. You know what I mean? And, and uh, it, it's like that. You feel me? Cutting up game. But I, it's an honor more than anything. Now, let's talk about the pain. Yeah, you get more money cutting at the funeral, but it's really not about the pay. It's really about like getting together on this big day. Usually the pay is sometimes, most of the times, triple than what you usually, you know what I mean? Get from them, cause that's your last cut and it's like, it take a lot of, you know what I mean? It take a lot to do that, you feel me, cutting up gang? Then you gotta, man. Like, one 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 time when I was cutting at the funeral, they for, they didn't um, put the makeup on them. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but um, on that big day, they have a makeup artist and they get the face together and they do the facial expressions. Um, my first funeral cut, they didn't do that. It was just like raw, you was straight out the refrigerator. And um, I saw it all like the, the you know, you kind of got like a it, a face that you passed away with. And I, that's the face I saw. And then the last time I cut somebody at the front row, they had the makeup on them and it looked like almost like him, you know what I mean? 
So, man, a haircut is so important. And to say this, to say this to y'all who watch and who don't cut hair, always get y'all a haircut so it won't be so hard on a barber on that day. Don't be one of those, I get a haircut so often type guys and on your big day, we gotta get you together and do a major chop. Hey right, man, why put us through that when, when all you gotta do is get a haircut every week, you know what I'm talking about? So, <laughs> but for real, you feel me? You don't wanna keep up with y'all haircuts, man. That big day, you feel me? Keep up with y'all haircuts. Don't put it on the barber and like that. And our people, man, let's do healthy. A lot of lot, lot, life insurance, you know what I mean? A lot of the people who, who um guys like me, like once you bank with your LLC or your, um however you bank, with your business bank account since you are a barber, they have life insurance policies. And I suggest every barber have a life insurance policy on them. You know what I mean? Especially once you start cutting people in that field, it's like, man, yeah, it's about, let me get that little life insurance and pay that little 40, $50 a month. You know what I mean? Just in case, cause you never know. Cause that's that big day. You feel me? Pray to God that we all, you know? But uh, yeah. No, that's a touchy subject, but I, I'm gonna attack it. You feel me? We cutting up, gang. And then, uh, if y'all like videos like this, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? Cutting up, gang. And uh, let's see, do I got anything else? It's just a spiritual. It's a spiritual moment. It's a spiritual feeling. Um, if you're not religious, you will get religious after you cut one of your clients on this big day for sure, for sure, cutting up gang. Cause that's, that's a real touchy subject and, and, and you never gonna forget it. And I know barbers who cut people on, on a big day at the funeral and uh, they took pictures. Uh, me, I'm not, I'm, I can't take the picture. Yeah, I can't do the before and after. I know some barbers, not gonna say no names. They did before and after pictures, you know, and they keep it for them. They don't show the, but man, I can't. I'ma just leave it there, you feel me? But everybody else I cut, I'm taking y'all pictures, you feel me? Eh? And another thing, it's the last thing. The best part about us taking pictures is on a big day, once they do go to heaven, you got all them pictures to send to their family. Now, the guys who I cut at their funeral, their family was so happy about all the pictures that I took after their haircut and videos that I took after their haircut and sent it to them. Because those are memories that they can never get back. You know what I mean, cutting up gang? So always take pictures and do videos of each client. It really mean, it's really priceless because that picture gonna get you new clients, that picture gonna get you free advertisement slash video and that picture you're gonna be the you're gonna be that guy once that day happened and you send that family all of them videos and pictures you got of them because they never saw that side of them and it's like man we're gonna cherish this because they can never get that back again so i'm gonna end on that one cutting up gang and man i'm gonna see y'all again tomorrow yeah